do that to me. Okay, to go from here to here, if you just multiply by negative two, you're gonna get the exact same answer, right? So if I multiply this by negative two, watch this. All right, thank you, Christy. And since you get a soup chat, I'll definitely make sure I go and get it, um, check into. So the if you go and get this out, you're gonna get a, come on. You're gonna a negative six um, x plus a four y equals a positive two. So whenever you have two equations that are exactly the same, it doesn't matter what your x and your y are gonna have, you're gonna have a infinite many solutions. Now, that's not what the student was asking. They want to do the reduced row echelon form. So when we're doing reduced row echelon form, you want to have the x's, y's, and then your number. So we're just going to write this as a 3, um, negative 6, negative 2, 4, negative 1, and 2. And basically what we want to be able to have this down is we want to get this into this format as we want this to be like this. 1, 0, 0, 1. And then whatever these two values are going to be, right? And that's going to be like your X and that's your Y, whatever those values are. Um, so that's what we're looking for. We're getting to these, or I'll just leave those, these open because we don't know what these are, but that's what we want to be able to find. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to get this to be a one. But before we get to this one, we're going to want this to be a zero. So to get this to be a zero, what I'm going to do is I'm multiply by two times row one, and then I'm going to add that to row two. Okay. So I'm going to multiply this by two. And then I'm going to add it to row um, to row two. So when I do that, like row ones remain the same. So that's a negative. So that's a three. Oh, crap. Negative two. And actually, it's been since college since I did this. So I really apologize if my explanation is bad. But it seemed like a decently easy reduced row echelon problem. But it's been, I've never actually um, gone through this in like high school level. The even though I remember actually learning this when I was in high school. And then when I add it, so this becomes a six. That's going to be a zero that becomes a zero. So two times three is six, six plus negative six is zero. Two times negative two, right? Cause you're multiplying two times row one. So two times negative two is a negative four, negative four plus four is zero. And then two times negative one is a negative two, negative two plus two is going to be a zero. And therefore now we just need to get this to be a, um, if we are gonna go and get this to be a one. So to be able to get that a one, I'm just gonna do multiply by a one third times row one. And when doing that, I get a one, negative two thirds, and I don't even know if we need to do that, but negative two thirds, and then this would be a negative one third. And that's zero, zero, zero. And again, my last row is all zeros. And since I only have one other row here, I'm gonna have an X and a Y, and that's why we have that infinite many solutions from on there.